If you watched my review of the Crane M3 last November and you thought to yourself, I wish it was just a little bit cheaper, this little gimbal might be the one for you. This is the brand new Zhiyun M2S and I have been fascinated with these little gimbals ever since you could actually put a real camera and a real lens on it. This one in particular, and just like the M3, you can actually fit a full frame camera on it with a decently sized lens. So let's start this video by seeing what you get in the box and then we'll compare this thing to the M3 as well. This Crane M2S combo comes with the same stylish white leather carrying bag that you get with the Crane M3. Inside I found a small user manual, a bag with three various USB-C cables, an all-metal extendable cell phone holder, a mini tripod for the base of the gimbal, magnetic colored light filters, and a metal camera base mount with thumb screw. What's notably missing from this M2S is the quick release base plate that I reviewed on the Crane M3. Now that is not something that comes standard with either one of these gimbals. It is an accessory that has to be purchased separately for $89. The thing I like about this system, however, is that it allows you to remove the camera and swap batteries and pull an SD card without affecting the balance of the gimbal. With the standard plate that comes with the M2S and the M3, you have to rebalance every time you remove the camera. So you don't get as many accessories with the Crane M2S as you get with the M3. You don't get the expansion base and you don't get the fancy giant microphone where you can use that for outdoor interviews but this is a kind of simplified stripped down mini gimbal let's take a quick tour around this thing from a design standpoint Zayun went with a light gray finish to the body with black accents and a little bit of red here and there side by side with the m3 there's almost no difference in overall size but the new m2s does have a slightly slimmer profile starting at the bottom there is a simple tripod mount no connections for any expansion base such as with the m3 the grip here is good there is some rubberized coatings on the front and on the back but they are not quite as high-end feeling it just feels more simplified and more basic. Conveniently located for your thumb, there is a joystick, a record button, an M mode button, and a small screen. Now this screen is not color such as what you get with the M3, and it's also not a touch screen, so navigating menus will require the use of the menu button and the joystick. So this is basically the same interface that you get with the Crane M2, the original version, and really any other Crane gimbal of that era apart from the newer models that have been coming out over the last year or so. On the other side of the joystick, there is a red light control switch, which turns the built-in LED video light on and off and also controls brightness. This light, unlike the M3, does not have different color temperatures, so you can't adjust it to be warmer or cooler. USB-C charging port is located here. There is a tripod mount up here for mounting accessories. There is a trigger button around the front. No scroll wheel, such as what you get with the M3, though. The power button Button is a slider switch which I am a big fan of. As far as the arms, they are similar to the Crane M3 in terms of adjustments. There is a lock switch for each axis. Some nice Crane M2S branding on the tilt axis. Near the base plate, there is one USB-C port and that is it. I'll reiterate that the universal quick release base plate is worth looking into because without it, in order to access the battery or SD card on an A6600, for example, you will need to temporarily remove the camera from the standard base plate and therefore rebalance it once you reinstall. But once you balance your camera on this gimbal, it looks nice. It's sleek and it's minimalist and it works great. Now, the question that I had was payload capacity between the M3 and the M2S. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a definitive answer from Zayun about that. However, in my testing, I think that the motors in the Crane M2S are just as torquey as the ones in the M3. I tried balancing my heaviest camera and lens setup, which is a Sony a7C and Sigma 85mm f1.4 art, a total of just about two and a half pounds, and neither this M2S nor the M3 were able to balance that. So I stepped down to the Tamron 28-75 f2.8 G2 and I think this is just about the limit. That is 2 pounds 2 ounces or 984 grams. The M2S balanced it and then gave up and the M3 balanced it but vibrated quite a bit because it was on the cusp of maxing out the motor torque. So in summary if you have a large full frame Sony mirrorless camera and a heavy lens setup then this little gimbal may not be for you. But fortunately for us APS-C shooters, this is ideal because 
Two pounds is the maximum for most setups when it comes to APS-C. Ideally, you have something like this, the A6600, the Sigma 18 to 50. All together, including the gimbal, this is three pounds, which is super lightweight, and your arm will not get tired from carrying this around all day on your vacations. Battery life is excellent on this little M2S. It's rated for 10 hours, which is a few hours longer than the M3, and it supports quick charging, so in just under two hours, you can go from zero to 100%. Okay, so now the question becomes, how does this little gimbal perform out in the wild? And the answer is this montage. Ready, set, go. I did a side-by-side -side comparison with the M3 using the same camera and lens setup, and as you can see here, there is basically no difference between the two in terms of stabilization. As long as you can balance your camera on either gimbal, the result is a smooth, stable shot. And once the Crane M2S launches, you will be able to fine tune settings in the app to make things even smoother. So what exactly are you saving by choosing this M2S over the M3? Well, a nice, crisp $100. The Crane M3 starts at $369 US, while the M2S comes in at a base of $269 US, which is a nice savings for a gimbal with very similar performance. Now you are giving up the larger color screen, the touch screen, a few knobs and buttons, but if you want a basic, easy to use, well-performing gimbal that is small enough to take with you anywhere, the Crane M2S is an excellent choice. So I think that this little gimbal is going to be a hit for Zion. This thing comes out today March 8th in the US of A and I will have some buying links down in the description below uh, so please check those out you can read all about specs and compare this thing to the M3 and no matter which one you choose whether it is the M2S or the M3 I think that you are getting a great little gimbal again as long as your camera setup is not too heavy for it so thank you guys so much for watching thanks for all of your likes all of your comments and your support stay tuned for more and have a nice day. Bye-bye.